Academy is to provide all scholars with the knowledge, skills, and character traits necessary to succeed in high school, college, and the world beyond. Our three values are diversity, respect, effort, appreciation, motivation, and self-determination. Congratulations to the girls basketball team on winning the championship by going 5-0 in the MLK tournament. Special shout out to Amaya Montgomery on being named the tournament MVP. Let's go! Come out and show your support as our basketball teams will be back in action this Saturday at Kip Leadership as our championship girls take on Success Academy at 9 a.m. Our varsity boys will play Success Academy at 10 a.m. And our JV boys will finish out our Saturday games for 11 a.m. versus Esperanza. With a 93% attendance average, congratulations to Miss Clayton's homeroom for being our attendance winners from last week. Congratulations. Donuts are headed your way. The Dream Shop will visit fifth grade this week. Be sure to check your Eagle Bucks. Thursday theme. Our theme for this Thursday is Favorite Character Day. Dress up like your favorite character from a book or movie or TV show of your choice. See you Thursday. I have a shout out. Shout out. Shout out to Adonis Davis and Caden Coco for completing all of kinder and first grade SC math respectively. Adonis can now work on first grade skills and Caden can begin working on second grade skills. Congratulations, Adonis and Caden. We are proud of you. Said we are proud of you. Whoop, whoop. Progress reports will be issued this week. Are you satisfied with where your grades currently stand? If so, what did you do to make that happen? What advice would you give to others who are looking to improve their grades? Mr. Elsie will come around this week to interview a few folks about how they are able to be so successful in school. Stay tuned. I have a shout out. Shout out. Shout out to Miss Caesar's class who is second to achieve 100% average journey progress. Who will be next? Congratulations to last week's top ST Math performers. In pre-K, we have Amari Ferrier with 119 puzzle solved. In kindergarten, we have Chance Farlow with 354 puzzle solved. In first grade, we have Maurice Rothschild with 299 puzzle solved. In second grade, we have Demonte Jones with 455 puzzle solved. And in third grade, we have Kyron Walker with 235 puzzle solved. Congratulations to last week's top iReady performers. In fourth grade, we have Nikea Reed with 13 lessons passed. In fifth grade, we have Jamichael Lewis, Mason Brown, and Janara Sertain, each with five lessons passed. In sixth grade, we have Jasmine Glover with 12 lessons passed. In seventh grade, we have Trinity Celestine with six lessons passed. And in eighth grade, we have Akila Powell with seven lessons passed. Congratulations to last week's top Zern performers. In fifth grade, we have Jairus Puentes with 10 lessons passed. In sixth grade, we have Ashaya Dorsey with 17 lessons passed. In seventh grade, we have Jaronique Monroe with six lessons passed. And in eighth grade, we have Quentin Nash with five lessons passed. Remember that our goal in fifth through eighth grade is to pass at least three I Ready or Zern lessons each week. It's carnival time and the LHA is preparing for our annual Crew of Characters Parade. The Crew of Characters celebrates our love of reading and math and we hope all scholars and families participate in this royal event. In each grade, scholars who read the most books and complete strong book reports will be crowned in the royal court as kings and queens and lead our parade around the fairgrounds neighborhoods our royal mathematical court doing crew of characters will be selected using blended students with the most lessons from now until february 10th will make up the court royal court members will also receive a special gift card more info in next week's video 